End of term exams were over, victory was total. But no sooner had we gotten the results than the principal showed up. Koro Sensei's walking papers in hand, the man challenged his rival to a one sided game. Come now, Koro Sensei. Validate my ideology and be the cornerstone of my vision. then open solved and closed fortunately I just so happen to remember more or less which questions are on what page in this particular series of books math was the only trouble spot that one's been loaned out to a student for so long I'd forgotten <gasps> you know these books backwards and forwards a rather remarkable coincidence oh not just these I've committed all of Japan's test materials to memory. You say no moving out of the blast radius until the given problem is solved? Very well. That little caveat is nothing to a passionate educator. I'm sorry, sir. You sincerely thought you'd gotten the better of me, huh? My, my. A class's crushing defeat must have you in a tizzy. I'm afraid this one-dimensional stratagem may wind up getting the better of you. There we have it. The last book. Your turn, I believe. What does it feel like, staring your own demise in the face? They say one's life flashes before one's eyes. What do you see, Principal? What's flickering by in that exemplary brain? Sir! Sir? Mr. Asano? Teaching at the same school. One to atone for his strength. The other to atone for his weakness. A noble effort, Ikeda. Maybe next time. Hey, a deal's a deal. So study and behave yourself today. Ah, <sighs> oh, dang. No fair, sir. You're totally a superhuman or something. Hey, Mr. Asano? Why does a beast like you start a cram school in an abandoned shack like this? I thought you'd graduated from some big college with loads of credentials and stuff. No offense, sir, but it seems like a waste of talent to me. Not to mention how far we all gotta hike. Come now, Nagai. Nothing is for naught in this world of ours. This mountain is wonderfully scenic, and the hike is good exercise. <laughs> what about funds? Bet this place is in the red. Don't worry, Mori, my dear. My stock portfolio more than makes up for the deficit. I don't mean to brag, but I'm something of a financial whiz. As you can see, this month I'm happily in the black. He's superhuman! So why does someone so awesome get into teaching in the first place? If you want to make us that awesome, you've got your work cut out for you. Don't overthink it. All I ask is you try to be good students. Remember, the bar is set differently for everyone. But your enthusiasm is an asset, Ikeda. Can... As is Mori's cleverness. And, of course, Nagai's diligence. You see, each of you has your very own strength. 
But you're right, I do have my work cut out for me. To properly teach you, I'm going to need to have all your strengths combined and more. <sighs> the private cram school was off to a promising start. Three students of my inaugural term were ideal. In the peace and quiet of the mountain, I could shape their minds to my heart's content. A model education, my dream come true. Oh, oh, come on, don't be a baby. Oh. I gave you a heads up. Next time, move. What are you, a snail? We just got out. Really? Why are you so rowdy? Whatever. Basketball stars can't just study. Give me a break. I've got tons of pent-up <laughs> energy. <laughs> you don't say. A basketball star. <laughs> Fine dream. <laughs> How about you and I play a little one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, yeah, right. Like I could win against a superhuman. Good point. I have one or two abilities you haven't cultivated in yourself just yet, huh? Interesting. Your classmates could just as well say the same about you. Oh. I, uh, sorry, Nagai. Oh, it's cool. Hmm. Everyone has faults. We all have to grow into our strength, but also come to understand how it affects those around us. I put everything I had into my daily lesson plans. In just one year, the students were coming along brilliantly. What's this? A Kanugi Oakleaf Kai Club. Neat, huh? We pulled our allowances together to buy it. Probably peanuts compared to what you make off your stock portfolio. Hmm. Now, now, just because it's grown a thousand percent. Wow, you, you seriously, seriously could, could have kept, kept that, that to yourself. yourself. I... I'll cherish this. <laughs> Hey, you got us into our first picked schools. Yeah, no way we could have done it without you. <laughs> when I grow up, sir, do you mind if I come and visit sometime? <laughs> How time flies. They've grown into such wonderful students. Parents saw my track record. Soon, children enrolled from all over. Three short years later, my little cram school was booming. <laughs> Ah, uh, how long has it been? Ikada, great to hear from you. Long time no see. Things are going good for you, huh? Can't complain. What can I do for you? Oh, nothing really. I just wanted to catch up and see how you were doing. That's very kind. Thank you. Uh, what about you? Not out there causing trouble, I hope. <laughs> no, sir. I'm just a regular Samaritan now, thanks to you. Anyway, you sound busy. I should let you go. Let's do dinner sometime. Your treat, of course. Later! I have business in that neck of the woods next week. Perhaps I'll stop by. <gasps> they said it was a suicide. Some horrible older boy on his team drove him to it, apparently. Used to beat him up and take his money. Poor thing couldn't take it anymore. That's awful. And he'd been such a sweet boy since junior high. Still, though, I mean, you'd think the young man would stand up for himself. What on earth have I been teaching these children? How to be good students? What was I thinking? Does dying make you a good student? I have an obligation to make them strong, or this will have been for nothing. But then, what is strength? Until I have the answer, I have no right to teach. From there, things changed quickly. I learned all sorts of strengths. I sweet-talked the men who drove my student to suicide put them on the road toward a disastrous gambling addiction. That's how I fine-tune my brainwashing techniques. Soon, I opened another school. The old campus building that symbolized my weakness would stand as a lesson to others. Strong. I wanted to make them strong. Strong young men and women who could survive, sacrificing others if need be. To that end, I would need more funding, more staff. If it could serve my goal, I would use it. All to educate, to breed true strength. 
Yet here I stand, abandoned by the strong and the weak alike. The only thing before me is certain death. What will it be, Principal? Will you open the last book or fold? You may be an exceptional human being, sir, but taking a grenade blast won't end well for you. This was your idea, in case you forgot. But hey, it's no big deal. Just gracefully admit defeat. <laughs> and just so you're aware, Fire Koro Sensei all you want doesn't make any difference to us. Don't get us wrong. It'll be sad to leave this place behind. But whatever comes, we're going right along with him. That's right. Even if we gotta run away from home or hole up in a cave, we'll keep this class going. It's not over until March. Why have I indulged them this far? E-class has been a thorn in my side all year. Such presumptuous, bald-faced defiance. Such a stain. Koro-sensei. Mm -hmm. You may well destroy the Earth. Even so, as far as my educational philosophy, it would make absolutely no difference whatsoever. <sighs> Whether now or in March, death will come for us all in the end. Strength won't matter. My students won't suffer alone. And in a way, my vision will have been fulfilled. <laughs> Somebody forgot about my molt. Hmm. Your once a month trick. And why precisely would you not use it on yourself? Because I was saving it for you, silly man. I suspected if I won, odds were fairly good you'd think nothing of blowing yourself to bits. <laughs> but how could you be so sure of what I'd do? Because we have a lot in common. We're both stubborn education fiends, willing to forfeit our lives for the privilege of molding young minds. I hope you won't mind, but I took the liberty of speaking to your old cram school students. I wanted to get their impressions of you as a teacher. Imagine my surprise upon learning that the idea of teaching you exemplified 12 years ago is identical to mine. Though as far as students are concerned, I've been lucky. E-class is a marvelous proving ground. There are a fair number of students, you see, and they all share the same predicament. These boys and girls work as a team, unafraid to ask for help or to hold each other up. And if I may point out, credit for conceiving of and implementing this class goes first and foremost to you. There you have it. Don't you see, sir? You've been abiding by the same vision you began with all along. Incidentally, I'm the only thing this knife can kill. The taking of human life plays no part in our approach. You and I are one and the same principle. We don't teach killing, we teach life. So why not stay true to ourselves and continue down this road? Playing outdoors is fine, Ikeda. Playing hooky, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm an athlete, I can't be cooped up, right? Give me a break. I propose a game. Once every school day, you have my permission to try and attack me. Manage to get a hit, and I'll let you skip class for that day. You serious? You'd really let me do that? Sure. <laughs> you got a deal, sir. If I hit you, I get to ditch. No take-backs. You have to see it through. My philosophy's always been right on the nose. Students have to be strong. My successes over the past 12 years prove this. And I suppose, so long as you acknowledge its proper function, I see no reason why you and E-Class can't remain here as you are. <laughs> Still too proud to admit defeat, I see. Oh, and do you mind if I pop by and try my hand at killing you once in a while? Be my guest. Always happy to oblige a worthy rival. Huh. That pristine facade is crumbling. You've lost, I can tell by your face. Something I can help you with, Asano. No, no. Just thought I'd come by to cheer you up. That and show you my wounded face. Perhaps some monetary compensation would help ease the pain a bit. <laughs> but feel free to take me to court. Though, of course, don't expect to win. You'll never win against me, Asano. No matter how strong you think you become. And what makes you so certain of that? Because I don't intend to ever stop growing. As a teacher, 
or as a father. So, yeah. About that reward. Yeah? Oh, yes. In return for ranking in the top 50, I promise to share a critical weakness. Well, children, I have, in fact, very little power. I'm designed for speed. When at a perfect standstill, one of my tentacles can be held down even by a single person. Hey, wait. If eight of us teamed up on you all at once, you're saying we could essentially paralyze you, right? Man, if we had known that sooner, this would have been easy as pie! This is bunk! You only told us because you knew it would be impossible! Hmm, not having any luck? The trick is to pretend you're hand-fishing for slime eels. But we're about to take high school entrance exams. I know, I know. I did complain to the student council. Asano fired back, though. What's the problem? Memorizing lines and stage directions quickly is good mental exercise. It's part of the curriculum. Besides, you'll figure something out. You always do. At least he gave us respect. You could be the leading lady, Nagisa. Just, you know, throwing it out there. Why do I get a bad feeling about this? What about Kaino? Huh? The preschoolers adored you. You had them on the edge of their seats. Um, I don't know. That ain't that... gonna play in junior high. Huh? People need to identify with the main character, and you're too short. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be in charge of handling props anyway. <sighs> right. So then for our main crew, Mimura will direct. And Hazama will write, naturally. Thoughts on our leads? You know, I'm available. You're supposed to be a state secret! This is our play! No adults allowed! <laughs> but I have the making of a phenomenal lead! What if this is my one and only shot? You can't deny me the limelight! All right, then. I have a play. <laughs> one where you can be the lead without upstaging us. Everybody's happy. <laughs> Great. Sounds like a plan. Let's put on a show the likes of which those main campus chumps have never seen. Okay. E-class goes on next. I say we eat loudly and sneer through the entire performance. A peach. Uh. The greatest medical minds are baffled. But by some strange miracle, there's a baby growing inside. Upon hearing this, the old man's eyes lit up. Excellent, he thought. This peach will bring riches. What a stroke of luck! A miracle indeed! People will pay good money to see this peach! They'll come from far and wide! I'll be richer than any king! Divorce papers. The old woman had been thinking of leaving him for some time. His greed, choice of words, and complete disregard for child welfare decided her. At long last, she'd had enough of his selfish nature. The marriage was over. For good. The rift between them was as wide as the river in which she'd washed his clothes for over 30 years without thanks or acknowledgement. The atmosphere at home had become as dry and as suffocating as the smoke from a mountain wildfire. The peach rightfully belongs to me. I am the head of this household! Do you understand, woman? I'll decide how to divide our property! <laughs> Lawyers. We'll be representing your wife from here on out. Any and all communication must be handled through our office directly. Regarding the Miracle Peach, since this marriage has technically been on the rocks for over a decade, we're well past the mandated cutoff date for carving up your combined assets. Oh, and fair warning? Our client is seeking reparations for emotional distress. For 30 years, she'd borne her husband's cruelty, his disinterest. Not only had he consistently failed to bring home the bacon, the old woman possessed incontrovertible evidence of his infidelity. In court, he wouldn't have a prayer. In desperation, he hired a band of thugs to strong-arm her, but being incompetent, they were hauled off by police. The old woman shed her misery and started over. She gave the Miracle Peach pride of place in her lovely new home. Life was sweet as it had been in her youth. One, Happiness two, and serenity three, surrounded her. Hooray! A dog, a monkey, and a pheasant. An unlikely trio trained to attack human beings. Devouring their food with the abandon of wild animals enthralled to their wicked master. All-consuming greed had driven the old man to unspeakable evil. 
Perhaps the fabled demon haunted island of Onigashima is none other than the human heart. The miracle peach will bear its child very soon. Will it too be prey to demons? <laughs> will about my writing style, words leave an unmistakable mark. I did it. I transported them. What the hell did I just sit through? He has my school in his grip, as surely as if his very tentacles were wrapped around the campus. Even so, carefree though they seem, E-Class won't get a fairy tale sort of ending. The Ministry of Defense has big plans, and yet, based on my experience of such things, the only person qualified to predict what may happen next is me. I can't help but wonder, Koro-sensei. Can one be a teacher amidst the coming storm? Now that he's served his purpose, Kanugi Gauka's beloved mascot has been transferred to E-Class. Hey, what are you looking at? Yeah, that's right, I used to be somebody. Yay for unemployment! Bye-bye, Kanugi!